Hi guys, Rachel Cook, Doctor of Audiology at Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in this video, I'll be telling you everything you need to know by the end of your hearing aid fitting appointment. Coming up. There are a lot of things that happen during your hearing aid fitting appointment to ensure that you receive the maximum amount of benefit from your hearing aids. However, the amount of information that you need to learn during your hearing aid fitting appointment can be a bit overwhelming. So to give you a head start, I started the Everything You Need to Know series to make it easier on you. In my last video, I covered all of the parts of your hearing evaluation and your hearing aid consultation, including what you should know about your hearing loss and the plan put in place to treat it. If you haven't seen that video, make sure you go back and watch it after you watch this video because there is a lot of helpful information in it. But in this video, we're going to cover everything that you need to know by the end of your hearing aid fitting appointment. But before we do that, if you could give this video a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it as it brings videos like these to a wider audience. And while you're at it, if you have not yet already hit the subscribe button with notification bell, be sure to do that too so that you never miss any one of our newly released videos. At this point, the day has come for your hearing aid fitting appointment. You should be excited to get started, especially when you know what to expect. You should know that between your hearing aid consultation and your fitting appointment, a few things have happened behind the scenes. This includes ordering your devices as well as electroacoustic analysis of your hearing aids. This diagnostic test of your hearing aids is important in ensuring that they are mechanically functioning. Now, the first step of your hearing aid fitting appointment is ensuring the physical fit and comfort of your hearing aids. This is critical for two reasons, retention of the hearing aid and ensuring that the devices are comfortable for long-term wear. After confirming that the physical fit is good, the next step is completing a feedback test. Feedback occurs when amplification from the hearing aids leaks out of the ear canal and gets picked up by the microphones on the devices, creating a squeaking, squealing, or whistling sound. It is important that your provider runs a feedback test to ensure that the rubber dome or custom earpiece is capable of meeting your hearing loss prescription without the risk for feedback. Then it is time to verify the programming of your hearing aids while they are actually in your ears using real ear measurement. Real ear measurement involves the placement of tiny probe microphone tubes into each ear canal while you're wearing the hearing aids. These probe microphones allow your provider to verify the amplification of the hearing aids to meet your full hearing loss prescription. Real ear measurements should not only be completed for average level speech, but also for soft and loud level speech to ensure that all sounds are audible and comfortable. For a deeper dive on real ear measurement, make sure you check out Dr. Cliff's detailed video on this procedure and how valuable it can be to your performance with hearing aids. Once it has been verified that your hearing aids are capable of meeting your full hearing loss prescription, your provider will generally reduce the overall volume levels initially. This gives you time to adapt to amplification with the goal of gradually increasing you back to your full prescription over the course of the next several weeks. After the devices have been programmed, you'll then receive an orientation on how to use your devices. This should include instruction and practice on how to put the hearing aids in your ears and take them out, how to tell the right hearing aid from the left, how to change or charge your batteries, and how to manipulate the volume level if needed. This orientation can certainly include more than this, but should not include any less to get you started on the right foot. After verification and orientation of your devices, your provider should then identify several situations that you can use as a gauge for how much benefit you're receiving out of hearing treatment. These can include things like hearing the TV, your spouse, while out at a restaurant, or anything else that's important for you to be able to hear. Your success in these communication situations will be monitored over the course of your treatment and will be assessed again at your final follow-up. We call this performing validation outcome measures, and they're very important in determining your subjective benefit from hearing treatment. Your provider will then review some expectations for optimal hearing treatment outcomes. For example, your provider should inform you that the hearing aids should be worn all hours of the day that you are awake, 
even if you're home all alone. The hearing aids should be removed for sleeping as well as swimming and showering to avoid any unnecessary exposure to water or moisture. They will also inform you that hearing treatment requires adapting to the new way that you will hear. Depending on how long you have had hearing loss and how severe your hearing loss is, your brain will be working hard over the next few weeks to figure out which sounds are worth paying attention to and which sounds should fall into the background. This will require some patience and some practice, but research suggests that adapting to hearing treatment takes approximately 30 days. At the end of your appointment, you should receive and review your purchase agreement. This document should have the make and model of your devices, their serial numbers, and their warranty coverage. It is important that they identify what this warranty covers, including repairs and replacements, and what charges you may incur if you need to use this warranty coverage. Some states also require a trial period that serves as a return window, though the length of this trial period varies by clinic. Be sure to keep this date in mind so that any concerns can be addressed within the period of time that the devices can be returned or exchanged. However, you won't have to worry about this date sneaking up on you so long as you are following up consistently with your provider during this period. You should have at least two follow-ups during your trial period to ensure the physical comfort of the devices, make adjustments as needed, move you towards your full prescription, and more. So if you weren't scheduled for your follow-ups at last visit, be sure you get scheduled for them before you leave the office. That's a lot of information. So let's review what you should know by the time that your hearing aid fitting is complete. First, you should feel as though the devices fit well and are comfortable and have received confirmation that they are capable of meeting your full hearing loss prescription, even if you are not at your full prescription on day one. You should know how to insert and remove your devices, how to tell your right hearing aid from your left, how to make volume adjustments, and how to charge or change your batteries. You should know that there is an adaptation period that comes along with hearing treatment and that this adaptation is best facilitated by consistent daily use of your hearing aids. You should also know your hearing aid trial period, loss and damage coverage, and warranty dates, as well as what services are included in your purchase and for how long. If you don't get this information, do not leave it up to chance and make sure that you ask. If this all seems overwhelming, don't let it be. A good hearing healthcare professional who follows best practices should be able to guide you through this process. If you wanna find a hearing care professional that follows best practices and will take the time necessary to explain all of this information to you, be sure to check out hearingup.com. HearingUp providers are committed to following comprehensive best practices to ensure you receive the maximum amount of benefit from your hearing treatment and will educate you along the way so you understand your entire treatment journey. We've reviewed a lot of information, but by now you should know exactly what to expect out of your hearing aid fitting appointment. Hearing treatment is a process, and as long as you have a good hearing healthcare provider who follows these steps, you're gonna do great. And be sure to stay tuned for the next video in the Everything You Need to Know series, where I will be reviewing everything you need to know by the end of week one with hearing aids. That's it for this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with someone that you think could use it. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our channel so that you never miss any one of our newly released videos. Welcome.